So students, today we are going to see the part two of chapter six, Stone Age Stone Tools. The first part that is the Old Stone Age or Paleolithic Age. In the last lesson, that is lesson number five, we have seen the Homo habilis. Homo habilis means the one who used their hands skillfully and the Homo erectus. The human who stood up straight is known as Homo erectus. They belong to the old Stone Age and they made their tools using percussion technique. And what is percussion technique? In this technique, they used to beat or the, they used to strike one large pebble, that is one large stone against another to obtain the stone flakes. So they used to take one large pebble and they used to strike or beat it against another to obtain, to get the stone flakes. And the first tool made in the old stone age with the technique, with this technique, with percussion technique, were crude, means they did not have a finished look. They were raw. And only one side of this tool had a sharp edge. And such tools are known as choppers. And they could only be used to break the nuts. And this tool made by Homo habilis were of this kind that they use they only used to use it to break nuts and this indicates that homo habilis have not yet learned the skill of hunting flakes of stone would be produced while shaping his tool and he used this flakes for scraping meat from the dead animals and for chopping meat and other foodstuffs he used to also use the stone flakes to sharpen the wooden sticks, etc. Also the tools like hand axe and cleaver. These are the some tools made by Homo habilis. Here is a hand axe, as you can see. And this is an example of chopper. Tools like hand axe and clever were made by Homo erectus and were of more proportionate and symmetrical. Symmetrical means they were of proper shape from both the sides. Then compared to the choppers, these choppers were made by Homo habilis and this hand axe were made by Homo erectus. But the chopper did not have a proper symmetrical shape, whereas the hand axe had a symmetrical shape. The Homo erectus used to mentally visualize his tools and then he used to shape them. So there they had the technique. They used to use the technique of imagination. And to obtain stone flakes, he used to use things like antlers and hammers. Antlers are the horns of the deer. And he further sharpened the edges of those flakes by scraping of the so smaller pieces to make the scrapers with a very sharp edge. That means that homo, homo erectors were using different tools for different tasks and according to the demands of the task. So as we learned in the part one, they used to use the tools according to the demand of the task. And with his improved tools, homo erectors could have greater variety of food because he could now hunt a variety of big and small animals with the help of his tools. And he used to hunt animals like deer, bison, rabbit. Bison is a hairy wild ox. Then the Neanderthal man, Neanderthal man were the human species who lived in Neanderthal. 35,000 years ago, more approximately. And he uh, further progressed in making tools. He began to make smaller tools. Homo sapiens brought about a revolution in technique of making tools that there was a vast difference in their tool making with the period of time and with the evolution of human species. He made various implements like knife, 
as you can see in the picture here is a knife they also made scrapers borers and chisels from this long blade so these are the types of uh, implements made by homo sapiens and he also began to use ivory and rare stones of quartz variety for making of tools and other articles homo sapiens had made significant progress in gaining knowledge of his environment and in the technique of making tools and obtaining food and this enabled him to stay in one place for a longer period of time so he had various technique to make various types of tools that made him possible to stay in one place for the longer period of time and the group of homo sapiens began to build huts and live in them and they had also started celebrating social festival and many artistic object and cave painting was created by them so these are the some examples of cave painting created by homo sapiens homo sapiens slowly slowly started using ornaments and the beads for the time of homo sapiens are were made from shells and bones the remains of the tools of old stone age have been found in various parts of india from kashmir to tamil nadu they were also found on the bank of narmada in the vicinity of hatnora village near hoshangabad in madhya pradesh besides that the fossilized skull of a child of the stone age was found in the village of village near a poducherry and some remains of stone age were also found in afghanistan sri lanka gangapur near nashik and chirki nivasa gangapur is on the banks of godavari river and chirki nivasa is in the pravara basin so here we come to an end of the part 2 in next part we will learn in detail about middle stone age and the new stone age i hope you all have understood the second part